Everyone in a high-rise hotel downtown Jacksonville now has to find a new place to stay. Action News Jack's Jenna Bourne is outside the Hyatt Regency Riverfront. Jenna, many of these people already evacuated, and now they're going to have to find another place to go. I could hear toddlers crying and cats meowing out here at the entrance of this hotel as these people got ready to hit the road. In the past hour, the number of people leaving has really dropped off, and that makes sense because these people are facing a lot of traffic once they hit the road. If you walk with me over here, you can see just how close this hotel is to the river, and that's why a Hyatt spokesperson tells us it's just too dangerous to stay. I want to show you video we shot of the fam these families loading their belongings into their cars. I caught up with one woman who, uh, one mother, as she was buckling her toddler into a car seat. She tells me she's determined to keep a positive attitude. Life's about my it's not stuff and where we're at. And of course, a, an evacuation is, you know, um, inconvenient, but it, what are you going to do? Just got to get safe, that's all. Keep in mind, this hotel has 951 guest rooms. I'm still waiting to hear back about whether all of those rooms were booked, but we know that many hotels in our area are completely full. Reporting live downtown, Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News, Jax.